Hey everyone, it's Melissa from Be in the Bear Backyard Homestead here in the Central Valley of California, Zone 9B. And it is freezing this morning. <laughs> it's like 37 degrees, which, you know, people in more northern climates probably are like laughing at me. Um, but that's pretty cool for California. And the coolest it was was like 34. It's warmed up, warmed up to 37. So anyways, we're outside. Today's the last day of November. So I was going to go ahead and get a video up. I have a doctor's appointment today, so we have to go fast. Anyways, um, so let's get started. So here we are, we're in the Fairy Gnome Garden. And um, if you remember about a month or so ago, the dogs got in and pretty much dug up a lot of the things that I had planted. <laughs> And, but we still have a few survivors. So we have, this is the peppermint chard. It's doing well. I've harvested some from there and it's really good. And then I also planted rutabagas and turnips. And um, I wasn't sure if anything was gonna come up after the dogs went crazy in here, but they're coming up. There's some weeds in there too, but there's rutabagas and turnips coming up. So that's really exciting. I thought that I had lost all of my Brussels sprouts, but I did not. There's one here. And then there is one over here. So I'm excited that I still have Brussels sprouts. There's a tiny one right there. So there's a total of three still. Um, and the um, artichokes are still doing good. And then I see there's some calendula coming up too. <laughs> <laughs> and some weeds. I need to get out here and, and weed. I also planted garlic in here um, and I also planted some elephant garlic. So there is elephant garlic and regular garlic in here. So hopefully those will overwinter and pop up in the spring. Let's hope. All right, so we're gonna come over here. I still haven't cleaned this out. <laughs> Calendula is doing good over here, and so is my cilantro and parsley. They're in there. I also have some um, other things coming in over here. That's exciting. If it is what I think it is, it's stinging nettle, which will be good. I'll harvest that too to make for tea and stuff. <sighs> All right, so here's my alyssum doing really good. I still have some holy basil. <laughs> the alyssum is kind of protecting it a little bit, so that's exciting. This one, not, not doing so great. And then my lavender, looking pretty good. Now we'll come over here. The figs are losing their leaves. This one still has a fig on it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the leaves are definitely starting to change and fall off. Raspberry is looking good. And the blueberry over here is losing its leaves and going to sleep for the winter. Here is the guava it's losing its leaves too. And then the cactuses are over here. And they're still doing pretty good. All right, let's go on to the fruit tree. Right, as you can see, cherry trees <laughs> are losing their leaves as well. Let's see, sometimes I like to just do that. <laughs> and the plum trees, both of them, have lost all their leaves. They're the one, first ones to blossom in the spring and the first ones to lose their leaves in the fall. So we'll keep going on. The big fig, the mission fig, its leaves are starting to change. Some are falling. So that's good. Goes to sleep and hopefully we'll get lots of figs in the spring. Over here, the mandarins. <laughs> it's so exciting. Oh, this one might be almost ready. Oh, it's still got a green bottom a little bit, but they're turning ripe and I'm so excited. This is the first year that we've had anything happen on this tree, so we are happy for anything we can get. You can see the frost is starting to melt a little bit on this. Here's our orange tree. We're hoping for big things next year. It does have a little, a little 
orange on it. This is a blood orange. But here's the pups. Marchy and Hazel. Hi, hey, hey. Over here, the lime tree, if you look really closely, sorry if you see poop on the ground, um, there are tiny limes on here. So that's pretty exciting. It was blossoming a few weeks back and now we have tiny limes. I don't know if anything's gonna happen with them, but we'll see. Grapefruit, change in colors, looking good. They'll probably be ready here in a, a week or two maybe, hopefully. Yay, grapefruit. That's the first time we've gotten any fruit from this tree as well. And then over here, we have a lemon, almost ready. That pretty much is ready. Oh, there's a little green spot. But yeah, lemon, I already picked one of them. There was two on this tree. And I'm really happy to get anything from this tree because <laughs> I was worried that it wasn't doing too hot. So I'm excited to have anything. Hi, hey. Hi, hey, hey. All right, now we're coming over here to the pomegranate. It's really losing its leaves right now. It's really easy to just take them off. <laughs> but we've gotten some pomegranates off of here and they were not that great. So maybe it needs another year before they do well, <laughs> we'll say. Because... <laughs> There was not very many red, you know, little seeds in there. Um, and they cracked and they looked like they were ready and they were beautiful, but on the inside they were yucky. So uh, this tree is only about two years old, so maybe it just needs another year before it'll produce some really good fruit. I did have one that was really good, so I'm hopeful for next year. All right, I'm going to turn you off. We'll go to the main garden. This is the frosty winter wonderland over here. <laughs> you can see my red cabbage. Uh, the kale's all frosty. Uh, this has, doesn't have any sun on it yet, so it's still frosty over here. More kale, some spinach. And then my green cabbages over here. They had one die. We've had multiple, like, it's probably been in the 30s for over a week. And so some of these might be struggling a little bit. Like, they're frost hardy, but I don't know after so many days. But this is our Asian cabbage over here. Broccoli, cauliflower. Doing good, getting big. Unfortunately, my eggplants died with the frost. So that's okay. Over there, some more cauliflower. That's the red, or the purple, I mean, and the cheddar over here. They're doing good. Um, as you can see, all my basil, I need to come out here and pull things out. Peppers. <laughs> they all died with the, you know, multiple days of frost. Oregano. Doing good, but it doesn't taste right. Like, I don't know what's going on. I might have to pull it all out and then replant it. Over here, still frosty. I had, let's see if I still do. Yep, I still do. There's some strawberry flowers on this strawberry plant. So that's kind of neat. Uh, sage, more kale, or chard I mean. And then more kale and spinach over here. Still frosty. <laughs> over here, there's my radishes and beets. Looking good. We've had a few radishes and they were really good. So that's the excitement going on here. Things are still growing even though it's winter. Or it's not winter, it's still fall. <laughs> but it feels like winter. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday and um, happy last day of November. November is my favorite month. Uh, that's when the leaves really start changing here. And everything's just beautiful here. Like, I'll show you my neighbor's trees. Look how beautiful those are. That's why November is my favorite. It's just so pretty. Fall is the best time of all. <laughs> I'm excited to see how the garden does as we go into December now. And hopefully things will keep growing and we'll have some broccoli and other things. Um, and it'll just be good. So anyways, like I was saying, have a wonderful Wednesday and we'll see you next month.